This message is to His Excellency the President Adama Baro and to all Gambians. Mr. President, it is disheartening to see and hear the words that you uttered a speech that you gave at an event recently in Brikama. We thought we've passed that level of inciting hate or using certain words against each other. With all due respect, I, Marisok, I am not a member of the United Democratic Party. But I think respect should be given to all and everyone in this country, especially political leaders. You just brought out a bill about harassment or discrimination of character, and mainly it is geared towards anyone doing that against your person as the president. But I want to let you know, Mr. President, that as candidates, as presidential candidates, we matter too, because you just don't know who will be the leader tomorrow. I hereby condemn with all my might, the utterance that you made against Honorable Alhaji Hussein Odabo. It is unprecedented, it is uncalled for, it is disrespectful. If nothing else, amongst all of us politicians, he is an elderly statesman. He is a father. He is a grandfather. He is a great grandfather. He is a husband. He is an uncle, etc. And it is disgusting to hear a whole president of a nation standing in a public space to diminish or even wish death to another presidential candidate. At this point, in our time in Gambia, Mr. President, people are hungry. People are tired. We are waiting for the rains to see if what we grow will yield benefits so people can eat. We have so much going on in this country, so much corruption. You have so many other things to address when you go out there and meet the people. The people come out in their numbers to come and listen to you, to listen to what you have for them. Programs, plans, hope. They're coming to see you to give them hope. To listen to you, to take something back home. They come looking upon you, looking at your face. to grasp a bit of hope for the next two and a half years that is left in your tenor, hoping to hear something that can put food on their table, hoping to hear way forward for the Gambia, hoping to hear what you have for them, what plans you have. But to their utter dismay, 
they come there, it's like they're on a campaign ground, like we are campaigning. Mr. President, the campaign has been over since 2021. And this is why I said no to political parties. We need to carry this country through a movement. A president should be in the state house with his cabinet working to take this Gambia forward. Not every minute, every month or every six months out there campaigning. Mr. President, we are not campaigning. Even as candidates and politicians, you are our president. So it is with utter dismay to watch you talk about a death of an other politician. That is a call for concern. Because if His Excellency or Honorable Elijah uh, Hussein uh, Dabo dies right now, that is questionable. And that question will be directed to you. Because you are the one standing on a platform where the whole nation is listening to you and talking about his death. We pray that that may never happen nor will it be soon. But bear in mind that if something happens to him now, you will be the key suspect to that. Mr. President, this is Marie Sock, and I strongly, with every fiber of my being, denounce statement you make with every fiber of my being condemn your stance and your utterance and your speech a hate speech against Honorable Alaji Hussein Udabo.